Hi, I'm Nita. And I'm Sinead, and today we're going to share with you a video on how to sharpen your Okatsumi secateurs. Okatsuni manufacturers on how to sharpen your Okatsuni secateurs. And if you don't already have yourself a pair of mm. any, any of the range of the Okatsuni, then you need to get a pair right now. Absolutely. They are just absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, basically who needs them? Well, anyone needs them. Well, everyone needs them mm. who has a plant. They're just amazing to use. They leave such a beautiful cut. Mm. Um, and the, the way the, sh the handle is shaped as well, it molds yes. into your hand. It's got an amazing feature of the opening and closing latch. Yes. Um, and the most important part, they're a bypass, so they're a strong bypass, so mm. minimal um, squishing of your plants yep. um, and minimal pressure is needed on your hands too. Yeah, that's right. And so normally a bypass pair of secateurs we would only recommend to somebody cutting soft to medium density timber, but the Okatsuni secateurs are so unique that you can actually cut harder material, so not dead branches, but yep. definitely harder wood. Um, and as Shanae mentioned, the bypass gives such a nice clean cut. And if you've ever had the pleasure of using a pair of Okatsuni secateurs, snips, head shears, it is all about the experience. The noise their secateurs make when they cut is this incredible crunching sound that just sounds fantastic. <laughs> the noise that their head shears make when they cut is like hairdressing scissors. It makes you want to go and plant hedges just so that you can use their hedge trimming <laughs> shears. Everything that Okatsuni make is just divine and you will wonder how you have ever lived without them. So if you have a pair of Okatsuni secateurs, this next video which is about to come up is what you want to watch to see how the manufacturers themselves recommend you sharpen their beautiful secateurs. And as Shanae mentioned, if you don't already have a pair, you still want to watch the video because you really want to rush out and get yourself some after this video. こんにちは。株式会社岡常の社長の岡の常也です。今日はハサミの研ぎ方について説明をしたいと思います。まず、砥石を水に含ませてください。水,水に含ませると研ぎが非常にスムーズになります。まず、研ぐ位置は刃の刃,刃先の根元から先まで。刃の先端部分に沿ったところだけを研いでください。砥石をまずフラットですけども、ここの削りの部分がハマグリの部分が14度です。これを参考にしてもらって、だいたい刃先23度に砥石を傾けて研いでやります次に裏側からを研ぎます。角度はだいたい15度15度に合わせてもらって根元から先まで砥石を滑らせるようにして研ぎます。研いだら刃,刃先が刃がついていることを確認します。最後にもう一回表から少しだけ撫で返してやると良いと思います。So I hope you have enjoyed that video, and as you may have seen. Prior to them sharpening the Okatsuni secateurs, they have soaked the whetstone. So we have half a file here <laughs> and some fresh clean water. <laughs> no, that's entirely my fault. Um, I highly recommend you do not drop your whetstone because it will break in two very, yes. very easily. So be careful with the whetstone. But in this situation, it was actually beneficial because our container was small and so therefore the half a whetstone works just fine. Perfect. So yeah, they recommend um, to soak the whetstone. So I'm just going to pop it in some clear water 
Um, and then yeah, you just let that soak and then after a little while, that's when you can start getting into sharpening your secateurs. Now you might be thinking, why did they not just get a brand new whetstone for this video and do that? Well, Okatsuni are so amazing and so popular that we don't have a spare whetstone. They are just, we have them on, like people have lists of names waiting for yeah. whetstones to come in. So that is why we couldn't sacrifice another one. <laughs> That is what you do they prior to sharpening. <laughs> so we have mentioned the secateurs because obviously that's what today's video is about, sharpening the secateurs. But there are other beautiful products in the Okatsuni range, as I sort of briefly mentioned before. And some of them we have on the table here. So these are some of the head shears. Now Okatsuni do these in a range of lengths and length blades and length handles. So you can get short handles, longer blades, all sorts of different um, you know, measurements but they are precision. So these head shears are... <laughs> Hairdressing is like a touch <laughs> made hair at but you may not like that today. Um, these are designed for taupe pre-cutting. So we're not talking hacking back an old hedge that no one's looked after for years, that's got big branches you need to cut. That is not the head shears you're looking for. They would be the Italian ones, but the Okatsuni ones are designed to cut leaves and skinny small branches. And the noise they make when you use them is just so lovely and beautiful and just amazing. I'm going to come close to the camera and see if you can actually hear it and see it. different lengths so you've got long nose short nose long nose with a rounded tip which is so you don't stab holes accidentally and things and then we also have the curly short short blades which are for cutting fruit and then the three different sizes in the secateurs and speaking of secateurs they make the most beautiful divine cases so they have a few different styles this is a double then they do another double so that's for you know, slips and secateurs or secateurs and hand saw, something like that. And then they have the singles as well in two different sizes. So beautifully made leather pouches, which are fantastic. And then they do also the range of bonsai shears. So you've got the long narrow ones and then the larger ones, beautiful for your bonsai or even ikebana and those sorts of floral arrangements. So that's just a couple of Okatsuni products. And the um, whetstone that we have here will be able to sharpen um, all the products in the Okatsuni range. All yeah. the, um, the head shears, the secateurs, yeah. the snips, the bonsai shears, you'll be able to sharpen mm -hmm. with the exact same whetstone that we have right here. Yeah, so look after it and you can use it on all your beautiful Okatsuni tools. Because yes. it is one of those things, like the silky saws that we sell, be careful because once you have one, you will need the others. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they make the perfect gift as well. Oh, amazing gifts. Like, Absolutely amazing. Whoever you give them to will not know that they had missed out on a portion of their life until they got to yeah, use yeah, Okatsuni products. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, and speaking of which, I'll just quickly show you, we forgot that lever that Sinead was talking about earlier, the um, opening and closing. Lots of secateurs have different styles of staying closed, little levers up here which can cause little thumb issues. These are fabulous and just by brushing them against your hip, you can open and close them. So it frees up this hand to do other stuff, hold things, yeah. and allows you to safely, quickly, and easily open and close them just by brushing them against your leg. So brilliant and a little feature of the Okatsuni Secretary. Exactly. And the same with the um, cases as well. They have like a little loop at, yes. the, at the top of them so you can stick a D-clip, throw it to your pants as well, so you can always have yeah. them. Yes. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I know you're probably expecting to watch a full video on how to sharpen your Okatsuni um, secateurs but we did include that at the start but we couldn't help ourselves and to let you know the amazing mm. um, Okatsuni range and what we have to offer in the Okatsuni range here in Australia mm. but if you have any questions or inquiries please don't hesitate to give us a call write us an email or leave a comment in the section yes. um, and yeah we will get back to you as soon as possible that's right thanks for watching and stay safe and well bye, bye. Oh, they're what I was going to say. <laughs> Where did you go? Yeah. And that's it for us.
Today. Okay.